ladies and gentlemen we have another patient with cerebral palsy uh, i would like him to stand for a moment his name is zan and zan is about 4 years old uh his mild stones of development he started neck holding at age of 6 started sitting when he was 2 years old maybe a little more than 2 years and as yet he is 4 years he can stand and if you look at his posture but he can't walk and he can't stand independently now what we call this condition of course as a part of cerebral palsy is truncal ataxia the word truncal or the phrase truncal ataxia means that the patient has a good muscle power to hold his legs upright but he cannot stand independently because of ataxia and this ataxia is at the truncal region which is a great barrier which he needs to overcome to be able to walk and as i said earlier on such patients need three important steps to be followed the first step is that these children should not be pampered like this is being pampered by his mother and the family these children should be given uh, independence they should not be taken a lot of care of so that they should not be dependent for their activities of daily living number 2 he needs exercises and uh, if you just uh, bring that ball The second important thing is that we have to build up his paraspinal muscles and to build up his paraspinal muscles so as to combat or to deal with the truncal ataxia we do these exercises on the medicine ball this is a medicine ball and if you see we are going to put zen for exercise on the medicine ball and if you look at him he is trying to lift his neck up that ultimately is going to create some activity in his paraspinal muscles and that would build up his paraspinal muscles and that would help his ataxia and last for of all uh, after this you should encourage the child to use a walker now the point which i would like to mention here is like his parents are doing when you hold your child's hand and encourage him to walk this usually is not fruitful because the child depends on the hand of the mother or the father who's holding it so by himself he is not doing anything so if you would encourage the child to take step holding something that could be a walker that could be a chair that could be anything around in the room that would give him a confidence to be able to walk independently and i'm sure the prognosis in this case is very good in my opinion he should ultimately has to go to a special education center but initially the parents must send him to an ordinary school of normal persons so that he could be well acquainted uh, with normality and then if he does not improve which is most likely not to improve then should be sent to a specialized special unit and it should be made clear that he should not be treated or studied uh, with down syndrome and other conditions of slow learners he should only go with cerebral palsy and cerebral palsy of a milder degree in my opinion his prognosis when he grows older is excellent he'll be able to walk inshallah independently and he probably would be able to earn his livelihood thank you